Next, we're going to have a look at the exceptions to the trend. So that's beryllium and boron, nitrogen and oxygen, magnesium and aluminium, and phosphorus and silicon. So as you can see, we have a decrease in ionization energy between beryllium and boron. So let's have a look at the reason for that. Beryllium has the electronic configuration 1s2, 2s2. Boron has the electronic configuration 1s2, 2s2, 2p1. Electrons in p orbitals are of higher energy and further from the nucleus than electrons in s orbitals. Therefore, they require less energy to remove. So the electron in this 2p orbital in boron requires less energy to remove than the electron in the 2s orbital. Therefore, you get the decrease in ionization energy. Next, we'll have a look at the reason for the decrease in ionization energy between magnesium and aluminium. So the same explanation can be applied for the drop in ionization energy from magnesium to aluminium, except the electron configurations are 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, and 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p1. So next we'll have a look at the reason for the decrease in ionization energy from nitrogen to oxygen. Nitrogen has the electronic configuration 1s2, 2s2, 2p3. Oxygen has the electronic configuration 1s2, 2s2, 2p4. For oxygen, the electron is removed from a doubly occupied p orbital. An electron in a doubly occupied orbital is repelled by the other electron and requires less energy to remove than an electron in a half-filled orbital. This means that an electron in a doubly filled orbital is easier to remove than an electron in a half-filled orbital, and that's because of the repulsion between these two electrons that occupy the same orbital. The same explanation can be applied for the decrease in ionization energy between phosphorus and silicon, except that the electrons are occupying the 3p orbitals.